Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited to share with you all of the 2023 monthly kits and walking you through the first six months of 2023. Look at this gigantic stack of stickers. Now, before I get started, I know my nails are disgusting. Um, with every new video that I post, I get more and more comments about them. And honestly, I agree with you. It's pretty repulsive. Um, the thing is like, I just don't want to go to the salon and spend the money to get them removed. Um, I'm trying to take a little break from that. So I'm just letting them do its own natural thing. And I do apologize for the next few weeks and for the previous few weeks as well. Okay, let's move on. So quickly going over the types of kits that will be available. We have the regular monthly kits. These are suitable for um, the seven by nine inch planners like the Erin Condren or um, the Happy Planner. Then we have the Hobonichi Cousin monthly kits. I also reformatted this a little bit. And then a brand new kit is the Hobonichi Weeks monthly kit. So we have six more of those. And then we also have four coordinating add-ons for every single month. So if you do the math, there are three monthly kits, each with multiple pages, but let's just count them as one thing. So three monthly kits and then four coordinating add-ons. So that's seven items per month and seven times six is 42. So hopefully you can see why I have been a little bit stressed for the past few weeks or months rather. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to finally be done and I'm honestly very, very proud of how this all turned out and I'm very excited to share this with you. I used the Hobonichi weeks a lot in 2019, but in 2020, 2020, um, I fell off the tracks and um, if you watch my other videos, you would know that I got a Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. So that is why I wanted to also do a monthly kit for that. So this is a mock spread in the Hobonichi Weeks using one of the monthly kits. This is the March one and you can pause to look at it if you would like. So the Hobonichi Weeks monthly kits come with two pages and these um, sheet sizes are slightly smaller than the actual Hobonichi Weeks, so you can, like if you have a cover or something, you can very easily just tuck this inside. So that's very handy. So starting with page one, um, I will go from left to right. So we have these monthly days of the week headings, and this is just in two strips. That's what they look like. It also comes with 31 of these date numbers, and for every single month, regardless of the construction of the month, I included 31 date numbers. And that is because um, as requested by a lot of people, a lot of you wanted to be able to use these kits for any month of your choosing. So that's why I had to ensure that it came with 31 so that it covers every single month. So just a warning, like for example, um, for April, uh, it goes up until the 30th. So for the April 31st, you would want to discard that and not use it. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there that it's not like an error or something that I included 31 for every single month. And we also have these um, blank labels. So four of them here and then six of them here at the bottom to cover up the other days that are not part of the month if you wish to. Um, here in this demo, I didn't use the extra strips. So you can still use it for other things like dividers or something. Then we have the artwork box and that's where it fits. Um, it ends directly above the second uh, week box. So it's very satisfying. And again, going with the request that these kits can be used for any month, I made the actual monthly sticker separate. So um, you can, you know, obviously switch things around. Also, I will be selling a separate full sheet of all of the artwork headers and also the um, monthly headers so that if you don't need all of this extra like date covers and stuff, you can just have this little section on every single month. All right, and then it comes with two of these full boxes. This is what they look like. And then two of these half boxes, but they're not exactly half. That's what that looks like. And then this one random label. And then it comes with 10 of these dot stickers. Um, that's what they look like. And you can also use this on the sidebar. And honestly, I'm obsessed with these little speech bubble doodles. I have two of them in this spread. Um, we have a messenger, two hearts, and an exclamation mark. So that is the first page. And then we have the second page, which comes with a bunch of icons. Um, I redrew all of them just for the monthly kits, and I'm so pleased with them. My favorites are probably the rest days and the happy moment emojis. Um, some packages and stuff. And then 
these are four wacky holidays for every single month. Now, I know that some people will ask about like legitimate holidays like Christmas or Fourth of July and stuff like that. Um, those are important, but I wanted to ensure that these kits are universal for international customers as well and also people of different religions so actually we have add-ons of the separate holidays like we have usa canada general holidays um islamic holidays asian holidays part one uk holidays and maybe something else that i forgot about and for 2023 i will be adding even more like australian holidays and um, i will also be doing jewish holidays and just a bunch of other things so yeah holidays won't be a problem if you want to include them but um just for the kits i didn't want to include them by default here we have this gigantic grid sticker which is meant for this bottom portion it's so fun and decorative but you can also do something functional with it just because it has the handy dandy grid um, we also have this full box sticky note sticker. That's what it looks like. And then these arrows that are perfect for marking things that span over multiple days. And then on the side here, we have six more of these labels. So we have seven total. Um, and these are really fun and colorful, but also functional. You can write about two lines on them. So yeah, um, that's about it for the monthly kit for the Hobonichi Weeks and I'm so pleased with this format and I really hope you guys like them as well. And let's quickly go over all of the different themes. So January is a kind of farmer's market slash veggie garden theme. February is a chocolate and florals theme. March is the one that I did the mock spread in. So it's like a Lucky Charms cereal theme and it's so fun and colorful and I love it. And by contrast, April is very muted and peaceful. Um, it is a Sakura and Japanese cuisine theme. If you guys didn't know, I was actually born in Japan so this, this kit is everything to me. Then May is probably another one of my favorites. Honestly, I love all of these. Um, so May is a high tea theme or like afternoon tea. June is a kind of breakfast slash brunch theme and I especially love all of the avocados and toasts and I have to point out this um, sticky note sticker that looks like a toast. I think that's really cute. So yeah, those are all of the Hobonichi Weeks kits. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in a set of set of six. Oh my gosh, brain fart. Set of six um, at a slight discount in the shop. We're now going to move on to the Hobonichi Cousin kits. And I also have that mock spread over here, although it's not as decked out as the Hobonichi Weeks one, just because <laughs> I was honestly doing these like at two in the morning and I was starting to get really delirious. So this is what the mock spread looks like. Um, I already did a Hobonichi Cousin kit for 2022, so there were only a few things that I tweaked, so it's nothing too like exciting or jarring, but let's go over it anyways. So we have the two-page kit as always, and I'm just using January as a demo. So for the 2022 kits, um, I did these like sort of whited out rounded labels for these entire two rows and you had 14 of these labels but for this year I decided to go with eight of these labels and then I made the bottom eight um, these like skinny bullet point labels I feel like that might be a little bit more functional for some people who want skinny labels um, and a change that I made for this year kind of like the Hobonichi Weeks is that I separated the artwork box from the monthly heading box this way you can kind of mix and match and use this kit for any month and again i will sell separate sheets of just the artwork box and just the uh, monthly heading box if you don't need all of this extra stuff and you just want a little square of um, cuteness on every single month then for the sidebar headers i made them a little bit skinnier and i managed to fit in an extra blank header just in case you wanted to make your own um, I also completely revamped the icons, although the icons are the same as the Hobonichi Weeks ones, um, but I think they're just a lot more better distributed. And one of the most frequent feedbacks that I got was that the payday stickers for 2022 was too big, so I made them smaller and I think it fits a lot better. Um, you can put it at the top in the heading. I also cut down the number of sticky note stickers that came with the kits. And then for page two, I removed one of the um, habit 
trackers. Um, I will have a full separate sheet of these in case you are someone who wants to track more habits. Um, but just for people who don't really track habits, I thought having two was a little bit too excessive. And instead, um, another request was to include the Wacky Holiday. So the Hobonichi Cousin Kits now come with the Wacky Holidays as well. Um, these are a little bit bigger than the ones that come with the Hobonichi Weeks, just because, you know, obviously the um, squares are much bigger. We have three of these um, whited out boxes and three of these pattern boxes. Again, we have um, four of these icon speech bubbles. And another feedback that I got was that a lot of people wanted more dot stickers, so I added an entire extra row. So I think we have double the number of dots now, which is pretty awesome. And then for the um, monthly dates, instead of making them just like the cutout dates that are meant to be centered, I made them fill out the entire box. I honestly don't know which one I prefer, but I don't mind trying something new. And then these strips, you can use them as labels, but what I intended them to be used for was to cover the Sundays and also the red holidays. Um, because they are a little bit jarring to me. So I think um, having strips to cover all of that would be nice and it makes the spread look a lot more cohesive. So you get seven of those. So that's about it for the Hobonichi Cousin kits. Um, generally the same format, but I think I made some pretty good improvements. So again, this is the January theme. It is like a farmer's market slash veggie theme. Then we have the February kit, chocolates and florals. Then we have March, which is Lucky Charms. Super fun and colorful. We have April, which is a muted Sakura slash um, Japanese cuisine theme. We have May, which is um, high tea slash afternoon tea. Then we have so it's upside down. Then we have June, which is a breakfast slash brunch theme. Very, very cute. And yeah, once again, I'm very pleased with how this turned out and I hope you love it as well. We're on to our last kit format. Um, I no longer use a seven by nine inch planner anymore. So I didn't do a mock spread, but um, a lot of people in our Facebook group still use them. So um, I would definitely check out those spreads if you're interested. I didn't make any dramatic changes, but I did listen to some of the feedback. Um, the one thing that I did was each of the dates are no longer like a single strip, but they're actually cut separately. So the Erin Condren and I believe also the Happy Planner, I'm not too sure, um, they are Sunday start planners and I know a lot of people in Europe prefer Monday start planners so you can rearrange them based on however you feel like using them. So yeah, this first page looks basically the same except the headers are now cut separately. So there's that. Oh, also, I decided not to make this like a fluid, undated kit unlike the other ones where the monthly parts are cut separately just because it looked really awkward when there's like no interaction between the clip arts and also the heading in the middle. So just for artistic reasons, I chose to keep them together. This page is also pretty much the same. You get four of these boxes, some of these labels, more labels, and I did replace the, um, I think, six rectangular labels with these like rounded corner labels and then i also um edited some of the icons as well then for the third page um also very similar except i changed out all of the icons as well and then i made the wacky holiday labels a little bit skinnier and i just kind of redid the numbering system as well and instead of doing three birthday labels here, I just made them emoji labels, so they're a little bit more general. And once again, I will quickly go over all of the themes. So this is February. And then we have March. And April. And then we have May. And then lastly, we have June. All right, so those are the three monthly kits that will be available. Um, 
I am starting to lose my voice, I feel like, but we have more things to go over, so let's keep going. Okay, so I'm very excited about the monthly kits, but I will say I am even more excited about the coordinating add-ons. I also hope I'm not coming off as just like praising myself. I'm just honestly very proud of how these turned out and I put a lot of effort into them. So yeah, I, I do want to talk about them in a good light, I guess. So every single month comes with four coordinating add-ons. Um, let's see, A, B, C. So add-on A are the sticky notes and you get six of the larger ones and then six of the mini ones and then three of these like really, really tiny ones. You obviously cannot write anything there because there's a giant emoji head, but um, it's just good as an icon, I think. Always love sticky note stickers and I think these turned out really, really cute. Um, add-on B. This is a bullet journal page and I'm so excited about this. I feel like I'm excited for everything, but this is definitely my number one item. Um, this is meant for like if you use a bullet journal and you want some sort of base to go off of when you do your monthly kits, this will be perfect for you. So you get like a monthly heading, um, some little doodles, and then the days of the week all cute and stuff. And then you also get 31 of the date corners. Again, I made every single month up until 31. It's not an error, it's just so that you can use this for any month. Um, and then you also get four of these little dot stickers. And you can also use this in your other planners as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be the bullet journal. And then add-on C are these labels. Now this is only meant for the Hobonichi cousin and the reason why I did it just for the Hobonichi Cousin is because the columns of the Hobonichi Cousin weekly section is exact same width as the columns of the monthly section, so you can double this for the weekly section, whereas this isn't really true for the other kits. So um, yeah, I just felt like this was a lot more versatile. So you get eight more of these labels, four of the skinny labels, and two of these rounded corner half boxes that aren't exactly half. And then the fourth and final coordinating add-on are the washi strips. Now, I do have to mention, this is fake. Um, this is a tester page. The actual washi strips will be printed on the um, washi-like paper that I have been giving out as freebies. So it's like semi-transparent and it kind of emulates a feeling of washi. Um, I just don't have them ready yet, so I just printed them on regular matte paper to show you guys what the patterns look like. But when you do buy them, it's going to be in this um, washi, like, semi-transparent paper format. So the sheet comes with four of these skinny washi strips. This is good for marking in long events and stuff. And then it also comes with two of these thicker strips that you can use to block off certain days. So yeah, as I said, every month comes with all four of these and you can buy them uh, individually or in a bundle of six. So you can buy a bundle of six uh, sticky note stickers for all of the six months, bundle of the bullet journals, bundle of the labels, and bundle of the washi. Okay, so let's go over all of the months again. So we have the sticky notes for February and then the washi strip for February. March stuff. And then we have April. I really, really love the April colors. I think they're so pretty. By the way, I'm getting tired of my own voice, so that's why I'm not really saying anything anymore. <laughs> so this is May. And then we have, lastly, June. All right, so this is probably a super long video. Um, I'm getting very tired, but um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you love all of the monthly kits and the formats and the themes. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And yeah, thank you for cheering me on as I completed all of these kits. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Or sorry, I'll see you this Sunday. Bye.